Bank for next for officials of the European Central Bank will have some tough decisions to make later. One specific warning for them came from the International Monetary Fund on Wednesday. Christine Lagarde called on the ECB to take action to stop the spectre of falling prices or deflation as it's known. She wants Mario Draghi to begin pumping money into the Eurozone in the same way the Federal Reserve is doing in the United States. But will her call fall on deaf ears? Delano D'Souza has more. It's been criticised for not doing enough in jumpstarting the Eurozone's economy. The ECB has so far resisted pressure to slash its key interest rates to zero. Unlike the US Federal Reserve, the bank has no bond buying programme. With the risk of deflation looming, the pressure is on for the bank to do more. So far, it's resisted. The prospect for inflation is cause of concern, uh, of course because it seems to indicate that uh, Europe can be, uh, and in particular the euro area, in a protracted period of low inflation. It's important to also underline that we see no deflation prospects. But as the ECB tones down the risk of deflation, data released on Monday shows inflation in the eurozone for March reached a four-year low at 0.5 percent, well below the bank's target of 2 percent. While low prices may excite customers, the prospects of prices dropping further could keep them off spending and delay a recovery further. The International Monetary Fund says more needs to be done for Europe to get out of its funk. If the policies are the same, no variation, no change, no innovation, no breakthrough, we will be in that sort of low, um, medium-term, growth, which could turn into a trap, as I've mentioned. Analysts are hoping Thursday's meeting will fire up a debate on what more the bank could be doing. They'll be looking to ECB chief Mario Draghi for answers.